Self-restraint is most certainly a virtue, but no matter how much self-control we have, it's worthwhile to bear in mind that there's always going to be that little devil on your shoulder telling you to stay up till 4am with your eyes glued to the rosy glow of Netflix, even if you have to be in work by 9am the next morning to script and record YouTube videos. Some particularly binge-watchable shows sucker you in with the promise of one quick episode before you get down to something productive, but before you know it, you've burned through four seasons faster than an overly enthusiastic conductor at a Vivaldi concert. With all that in mind, I'm Will from WhatCulture.com and this is the 10 most binge-watchable shows on Netflix right now. Whoa there, friends. Before we let you sip the sweet, sweet nectar of this fire content, you and me need to have a little chat about the all-time classic mobile RPG, Alliance Heroes of the Spire. Real-time PvP, crazy giant boss fight, never-ending hero combinations, and massive guild battles all on your mobile phone. 10,000 different hero combinations that really put your skills to the test, meaning that unlike other mobile RPGs, you have to work for your win. So what else do you need? Go to the description, click the link, and because I'm emotionally preconditioned to want to make you happy, you'll get 50,000 gold and 50 gems absolutely free. You are welcome. Now back to the content. Number 10, Fargo. Yes, we're jumping right in with the black comedy crime drama Fargo. Fans of the award-winning 1996 Coen Brothers movie might have been a bit taken aback when this very loose, small-screen adaption landed in 2014, but it's proven to be quite the dramatic powerhouse in its own right. After premiering in the US on FX, the entire of Fargo made its way to Netflix this January, with the third season continuing the tradition of introducing a whole new ensemble, this time headed up by an almost unrecognizable Ewan McGregor, playing the dual role role of brothers Emmett and Ray. Powerhouse cast aside, it's the fantastic tonal balance between hilarity and intensity, combined with fantastic writing, direction and cinematography, that make Fargo among the best shows on Netflix right now, and as binge-watchable as they come. Number 9, Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls is a series that owes a lot to Netflix, with a whole new audience discovering the show on the streaming service, to the point where they even decided to make a revival. Gilmore Girls, with its cutesy mother-daughter promo images, is easy to write off, but doing so ignores that this comedy drama, which excels at both aspects, is full of pop culture references, whip-smart, rapid-fire, immediately quotable dialogue, weird and wonderful characters, and a whole lot of heart. Binging now means you can go all the way through and have the ending that was always envisioned, with with some joyous heights and tear-inducing lows along the way. Number 8. Star Trek with season one of the brand new Star Trek Discovery wrapped up, the time is ripe to take a head-first dive into one of the most influential television franchises ever created. With Star Trek The Original Series, Star Trek Next Generation, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Star Trek Voyager, and Star Trek Discovery, there's enough Star Trek Netflix content to satiate even the most hardcore Trekkies out there. Even if you're a total newcomer and you want to go all the way from beginning to end, or simply dip in and out to your heart's content, there's something out there for everyone. Dream me up, Scotty. Number 7. Friends the undisputed king of binge-watchable comedy. The full 10-season run of Friends is pretty much mandatory viewing for any fan of light-hearted yucks. The show revolves around the lives of six 20 to 30-somethings living in Manhattan, navigating life and each other in the perfect execution of the background, easy-watching, laugh-fest formula that has since been adopted by more recent shows like How I Met Your Mother and Big Bang Theory. With the whole show available on Netflix and so many hours of entertainment, it's easy enough to just roll over back to the beginning once you've finished it, having most likely forgotten all the early season escapades by the time you've completed season 10. This leads to an inescapable cycle of friends that will occupy your every waking and sleeping moment. It is one of the archetypal 90s comedies for a reason, after all. Number 6. Better Call Saul the crime drama series spin-off of the unparalleled Breaking Bad sees Jimmy McGill begin the path down the road to becoming Saul Goodman and the lawyer of Walter White. The incredible cast, cinematography and dedication to detail produces a show that rewards fanaticism, a series as addictive as the blue crystal meth its counterpart show revolved around. Comparisons with Breaking Bad are inevitable, but Better Call Saul manages to stand tall as an incredible show distinct from its counterparts. After all, it's all good, man. Number 5. Freaks and Geeks 
One of the greatest one-season wonders of all time, there's not much excuse for ignoring Freaks and Geeks, given only a solitary 18-episode run exists. Looking back on the show, it reads as a foretelling of what was to come for Hollywood comedy, starring the likes of Seth Rogen, James Franco, Jason Segal, and John Francis Daly, who went on to co-write Spider-Man Homecoming. Telling the story of the two titular groups as they navigate high school while perfectly straddling real-life situations and gut-wrenching comedy, few shows have ever managed to be as authentic and funny as freaks and geeks. Number 4. Peaky Blinders one of the most critically acclaimed British dramas of the decade, Peaky Blinders centers on Thomas Shelby and his gang, named for their caps, which have razor blades sewn into the peaks, in lawless Birmingham, just after the First World War. It's a dark, intelligent gangster drama in the vein of HBO's Boardwalk Empire, and has increasingly fused itself with historical events and characters. A stunning display of acting, cinematography, and screenwriting, Peaky Blinders is easily up there as not only one of the most bingeable shows around right now, but one of the best. Number 3. The Good Place the Good Place is one of those concepts so solid you can't believe it hasn't been done before. What would happen if someone who deserves to go to hell, the bad place, winds up in heaven, the good place? The answer is a charming and surprisingly sophisticated comedy. Alongside its originality and brilliant performances by Kristen Bell and William Jackson Harper, the series dives headlong into some engaging and interesting moral issues, plus a few narrative twists and turns to keep things fresh and riveting. Already two seasons strong, with a third on the way, The Good Place is one of the best new comedies shows around. Created by Michael Schur of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Parks and Rec, it's the perfect candidate for a lazy evening or weekend of binge-watching euphoria. Number 2. BoJack Horseman if you're someone who likes your comedy a little bleaker than most, Bojack Horseman is the one for you. Half hilarious, half devastating, it's a comedy drama set in a fictional universe of anthropomorphic animals living alongside humans. Our eponymous hero, Bojack, is a washed-up TV star of a cheesy 90s sitcom, and the show deals with his struggles with his own self-destructive tendencies, depression, and addiction, wrapped up in a gleefully hysterical, satirical take on Hollywood. The incredible cast of Will Arnett, Alison Brie, Aaron Paul, and countless more bring humour and humanity to the unflinching, relentless examination of real-life issues and problems. A four-season strong horse walks into a bar joke, Bojack only gets better as it goes on, leading to some truly devastating lows and hysterical highs. Plus, the short episodes and charming animation make it a damn difficult show to turn off. Number 1. All the Marvel Netflix TV Shows Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, The Punisher, and The Defenders. It feels like a bit of a cop-out to pull out all the Marvel Netflix TV shows for the number one spot, but they're just so bloody good. Well, maybe not so much Iron Fist, but still, it's all the MCU action the box office has grown to love condensed onto the smaller screen. The television format allows a greater amount of time to develop characters and themes, allowing for wonderfully indulgent sequences with our protagonist and highly characterized and engaging villains, such as David Tennant's incredible Kilgrave in Jessica Jones. Perhaps the greatest binge-inducing factor is the shared universe of all these shows, allowing for crossovers and team-ups that feel organic and incredibly rewarding. These shows don't just make great superhero television, it's great television full stop. And with over 100 hours of entertainment and counting, plus the next season of Luke Cage dropping this month, the Marvel Netflix universe is as binge-worthy as they come. If you're feeling there was an entry not covered on this list that should have been, cough, breaking bad, cough, be sure to check out our previous video, 10 Netflix shows that need binge watching, or alternatively, drop a comment with your own suggestions down below. Hey guys, before you go, I just wanted to talk to you about a brand new project that we're going to have starting up pretty soon. It's a brand new channel called That Film Theory, the pace of which is going to be a bit more relaxed and focus on kind of video essays on our favourite cinematic experiences. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, then click the screen and go over there. Hopefully we'll see you soon. We're passionate about it, so come support us.